Now tonight, the community and city leaders are talking about the tragedy and the little girl, Zoe, whose life was cut short. 27 News reporter Jacob Kaufman joins us to share how her death is affecting everyone in the community. Disgusted and heartbroken. That's how people in Topeka are feeling about the tragic death of Zoe Felix. While her passing is affecting many, her memory still lives with the people who knew her. Zoe Felix was loved by all of her neighbors. Whenever she needed a place to go, to eat, basically anything, her neighbors stepped up. Sweetest little girl ever, just looking for love. She needed love and so we gave it to her. Everybody out here cared for her, so we call her our neighborhood daughter. And this is my granddaughter, her best friend. She just moved over here with me, so her and Zoe played together every day, so this is taking effect on her as well. More people are being affected by Zoe's passing than just her neighbors. It's leaving an empty feeling inside for a number of people, including city leaders. What happened to Zoe was tragic. Um, you know, I, I can't give enough praise to our police department. They quickly apprehended um, the person who did this, the, the monster if it was the person who did this. You know, right now, frankly, I don't care about statistics. What I care about is is what happened to this little girl. The pain runs deeper for Councilman Tony Emerson. You know, I have three daughters myself, and I just can't imagine the pain that the family's going through and that our community is going through. This is such a shock whenever you have an innocent child like this brutalized and murdered. It's just the worst thing in the world. Zoe's passing marks the 26th homicide of the year in the capital city. Mayor Michael Padilla says when it comes to crime in the city, we all can do more. I think it all boils down to how we treat each other. And that's, that's how I see uh, the rise, is that if there are people in this community who resort to violence rather than conversation and discussion and seek resources for help, that's something that we need to reemphasize. Very sad story all around. Earlier today, I visited a retirement community near the area where Zoe was killed. While people there tell me her passing is a tragedy, they say that they were already scared for their own safety because of the growing homeless population in the neighborhood. Another person I talked to in the area says that her daughter worries about her safety, even if she goes to the grocery store alone. Working for you, Jacob Kaufman, 27 News.